what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's going to be a day in the life slash vlog type video we're going to be preparing dinner we're also going to be cleaning up the house but for now we're going to rewind it back to the beginning of the day and as you guys can see i'm getting my daughter ready for the day and i will be doing her hair to be honest with you guys i don't get ready and so I'm done with all of my housework because really there's no point. After doing my housework, I'll take a shower and then I'll get myself ready. So I wanted to show you guys this cute, simple little hairstyle that I do on my daughter. I usually do this hairstyle whenever we're in a rush or I don't really feel like doing anything fancy to her hair. So instead of just the normal ponytail, I like to dress it up a little bit. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're just going to put the hair up in a high pony. And then I get these little donuts from the Dollar Tree. They're in the hair aisle. And I like to put her hair over it. This is what it looks like. It should look like a little donut with a hoe in the middle. And then to hold that in place, we're going to take another hair tie. And we're just going to wrap it around two times to make it snug. Then we're going to take this excess hair and we're just going to wrap it around the bottom of this donut bun. And then to secure it into place, you can either use a bobby pin or I like to use these hair bows with the clips on the back. And we'll just use that to keep the hair in place. And then this is what it looks like. This is my go-to hairstyle in the summer because it keeps the hair up off of her neck and keeps her cool. And this is what she looks like for the day. So now we're going to go ahead and give her some cereal. And while she's eating and watching her YouTube videos, I'm going to head outside and just tidy up the porch a little bit from last night. So we like to sit out here and end our days and Harmony likes to sit out here and play as well. So I like keeping this space as tidy as I can. So I'm just gonna go in with the broom and give it a good sweeping. Once I've got the rug swept off, I'm going to go in with some water because there is some mud that has dried up over here in front of my door. I guess they're from my husband's work boots. So we're just going to take the broom and clean that up. And then before I go in, I'm just going to water my deck plants for the day. now we're just going to move on to the inside and we're going to start with my kitchen. It's a little bit messy so we're just going to straighten it up a little bit. And I get comments all the time of people telling me, you're already cleaning a clean house so what's the point? And that they can't relate to the video. But that is only because I maintain my house very well. So even when it gets just a little bit messy, I never let it go. I always get it cleaned up before the day's over with. And that's exactly how I stay on top of things. So while my sink is filling up, I'm going to go ahead and put the dishes away that were in my dish strainer from last night. So that way I can make room for the dirty dishes. And I've just got my sink filling up with some warm water and a splash of bleach and blue Dawn dish soap. And I'm just gonna let the dishes soak for a little bit, but first I have to spray the really dirty ones off before I put them in the water. So while the dishes soak, we're gonna go ahead and prep dinner for tonight. So my husband's at work and I've got some steaks in the fridge. I got them out and I'm about to let them marinate we're just going to put them in this little metal tray and I've got some Wisher Sear sauce. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. And then I've got some steak seasoning and then of course salt and pepper. So we're just going to go ahead and get this cut open. So 
So first we're gonna poke a few little holes into the steak so that way it can marinate all the way through. So let's get busy seasoning. So to go with this later, I'm gonna make some red skin potatoes in the oven. So if you stick around, I'll show you guys exactly how I do that later on in the video. So now that we're done, we're gonna let these set in the fridge for a few hours. So I'm gonna wrap this up with aluminum foil. And then we're gonna start disinfecting my countertops. So I've got an empty spray bottle with warm water and some diluted bleach inside. You guys know that I love to clean with bleach. And you guys know whenever I wipe my countertops down, I like to also wipe down the walls. In the kitchen, whenever you're preparing food, you don't really notice exactly how much stuff splashes up on the wall until it's dried and it's like caked on there. So that's why I like to stay in the habit of wiping them down every time I wipe down the countertops. So now moving on to my new countertop over here. I'm still getting used to wiping this down. A lot of times I wipe all the countertops down and then I forget this piece. I'm still trying to get used to having it here, so. And I also wipe down the bottom shelves underneath only because it's my cat's new favorite hangout spot. And I just wanted to show you guys the new placemats that I got from the Dollar Tree to put on here. I think they go with the decor really well. And then I've just got a strainer filled up with fruits and stuff. I set in the middle up here just to keep them fresh. So now I'm moving these benches on top of my countertops so that I can sweep really good. Now moving on to my dishes. I've mainly just got a sink full of dirty cups and maybe a bow and a couple plates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock these out really quick. Then we'll move on to cleaning the sink out. So every time I do the dishes, I feel like I always do them a different way every time I do them. So usually I let the water run and rinse as I'm going, but whenever I play it back on video, it really makes me aware of just how much water we are wasting. So I've been trying to just wash everything off first, let it set, and then rinse them. So that way we're not using up water that we don't need to. Now it's time for my favorite part. I hate doing the dishes, but I absolutely love cleaning out the sink afterwards. It's just very satisfying. For some reason, I do not know. But today we're gonna use my Fabuloso and we're gonna dilute it with some water and we're gonna use the little scrub brush to scrub these sinks clean.
Now the last thing we're going to do in here is clean up the floors with the Swiffer. So I've got my Swiffer out. I've got a little cleaning rag on the bottom of the Swiffer. And I've got my spray bottle that is filled with warm water and diluted bleach. And we're going to disinfect these floors. So now we're pretty much done with the kitchen. We didn't really have much deep cleaning to do. Everything that I did today is not considered deep cleaning to me. This is something that I do every day. And now we're gonna move on to the living room and I'm gonna strip off the throws on my couch because they do need to go in the wash machine. And I'm gonna take my broom and sweep my area rug I do like to do this before I vacuum because I feel like the broom picks up stuff that the vacuum doesn't always pick up. And then we're going to go ahead and sweep the rest of the living room. And I did sweep down the hallway leading to the living room off of camera. Now back to my couches. I've just got my vacuum and the holes and the little attachment that goes on the end and I'm going to vacuum my couches really good. Even though I keep them covered up with throws, the backs of them aren't protected. So pet hair always gets up on the backs. So that's why I go in with this vacuum and I vacuum it really good just to remove any dust or pet hair or even human hair. I like to keep the fabric as fresh as I can for as long as I can. So this has also become part of my cleaning routine. But I don't do this every single day. However, I do try to do it at least once a week. And now we're going to Swiffer the floors in here just like we did in the kitchen. And I'm using the exact same cleaner, an empty spray bottle with warm water and diluted bleach. So that way we can disinfect the floors in here as well. And since we've stirred up a lot of dust with the broom and the vacuum, we're now going to have to wipe down my glass coffee table and end table. And now the living room has been tidied up and I feel so much better. So back in the kitchen, it's been about two hours since I cleaned up my living room. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wash off these little red skin potatoes. And we're just gonna cut them up so that we can have them with our steak tonight for dinner. 
And I'm just going to leave the skins on because I feel like it gives them so much more flavor. And I'd like to know if you guys do the same. Some people do, some people don't. Definitely let me know down in the comment section. So I've also got an onion and I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm not going to use much of it, but I am going to dice up a little bit to put in with these potatoes whenever I put them in the oven just for a little bit of flavor. And I've got some olive oil that I put in this baking pan and I'm just going to completely coat all the potatoes in the olive oil. And I've also already got the onion in there and I used salt, pepper, and garlic salt to season these. Just gonna put them in the oven at 375 for 45 minutes. And now that my husband's home, we've got the grill fired up once it cools down. This is a little hack how to clean a grill, especially if it has a little rust on it. Take an onion and while the grill's hot, use it to clean the grill. And now it's time to start cooking. So we like to use the extra juice that the steaks marinated in to pour over top the steaks. And I also got some seasoned chicken I'm putting on the grill for my daughter since she doesn't quite have the taste for steak just yet. And then when those are done, we'll put barbecue on them. And yeah, guys, this is what we're having for dinner. I also have some baked beans on the stove inside cooking. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up and get to editing so I can get it posted today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.